Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the video. Um, basically, this is going to be a new series. Hopefully, you guys like it. This is um, basically like a dub smash, um, but extended. Um, I've always liked um, doing dub smashes, but I was always kind of annoyed by the 10 second rule of it. Um, and I always like doing movie um, um, quotes from it. So basically, I just decided, you know what, why don't I just lip sync um, movie lines and just do multiple characters. That way you can be a little more diverse with it. You can have a little fun with it and put your own spin on what the characters are saying and how they portray it with their voice. Um, but otherwise, this is my first one. Um, this one's from Jaws. It's a scene from the middle of the movie after where they are discussing what to do with the current situation. So hope you guys enjoy. Hit the like button if you uh, liked it. And subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks. White Larry, a big one. And any shark expert in the world will tell you it's a killer. It's a man-eater. Look, the situation is that apparently a great white shark has staked a claim in the waters off Amity Island. And he is going to continue to feed here as long as there is food in the water. And, and there's no limit to what he's going to do. I mean, we've already had three incidents. Two people killed inside of a week, and it's going to happen again. It happened before. The Jersey Beach. 1916, 1916 there were five, five people chewed up in the surf. In tell one them, week. Tell them about the swimmers. A shark is attracted to the exact kind of splashing and activity that occurs whenever human beings go in swimming. You cannot avoid it. If you open the beaches on the 4th of July, it's like ringing the dinner bell, for Christ's sake. Look, sakes. Mr. Vaughn, Mr. Vaughn, I pulled a tooth the size of a shot glass out of the rectal of a boat out there, and it was the tooth of a great white. It was Ben Gardner's boat. It was all chewed up. I helped tow it in. You, sh you should have seen him. Where, where is that tooth? Did you see it, Broden? No, I didn't see it. He, he dropped it. Yet. I had an accident. Way in. And what did you say the name of this shark is? It's a carcarid and carcarius. It's a great white. But you, you don't have the tooth. Look, we depend on the summer people here for our very lives. You are not going and to have to close those unless beaches. Unless you deal we're with this problem, we're not only going to have to close the beach, we're going to have to hire somebody to kill the shark. I mean, we're going to have to tell the Coast Guard. Mr. Vaughan, we're going to have to contact the shark We're going to have to put extra deputies on because you every have to the world is going to come in here. We got I don't think one, one, one of you are familiar with our problems. Uh, I think that I am familiar with the fact that you are going to ignore this particular problem until it swims up and bites you on the ass. Now, wait a second, wait a second. There are two ways to deal with this problem. You're either going to kill this animal or are you going to cut off its food supply? Larry, we have to close the beaches. Brody, sick vandalism. That is a deliberate mutilation of a public service message. Now, I want those little paint-happy bastards caught and hung up by their Buster Browns. That's it. Goodbye. I'm not going to waste my time arguing with a man who's lining up to be a hot lunch. I'm going to see you later. Please don't do this. He's not... Mr. Vaughn... What we are dealing with here is a perfect engine, uh, an eating machine. It's really a miracle of evolution. All this machine does is swim and eat and make little sharks. And that's all. Now, why don't you take a long, close look at this sign? Those proportions are correct. Love to prove that, wouldn't you? Get your name into the National Geographic. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.